All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honors to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakaku Dash, my double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone that rule well. Uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Um, I just want to speak a few words on, um, you know, like an exhortation for brothers that whatever you're going through, whatever you have um, issues with in this life, go to your brothers, okay? First and foremost, go to your how about me, I was shy. Always, okay? It's good just says put, you know, um, you know, put your um, your burdens and things on the Lord, okay? But we have to remember, okay, Yahweh Shai himself had 12 disciples. He had men that he confided in, him, you know, he, even himself, which what proved that was when he had to go to the Garden of Gethsemane before uh, he was, a, a, um, you know, arrested and put on the cross, you know, he, you know, was basically, you know, he had, um, you know, the brothers with him, you know, to go to, you know, to go to the, um, the garden with him, so he can, um, so he can, um, you know, have somebody to confide in, okay? That's what he needed, and that's why he asked and that's why he said, um, can you not stay awake with me for one hour? You know? But he kept going to the, uh, he kept going, you know, alone by himself to pray to the Heavenly Father, you know, about, you know, the cup which he had to drink, which ultimately, yeah, you know, of course, you know, we're by ourselves, you know, uh, you know, walking this walk, bearing our cross. But if if it was just as simple as just carrying this burden, just being by ourselves, why do we have a brotherhood? Why do we have men around us? Why do we have men around us? Okay, Israelites of the different tribes and different spirits. Why do we have them around us in the first place? It just looked like we, you know, a movement and about something. You know, just to look unified? No. Okay? Alright, the Heavenly Father has given us brothers and men around us, okay, for us to go through what we're going through um, so we can confide in each other, love each other, because that's what Israel wasn't doing. What's the two greatest commandments? Love the Heavenly Father with all thy heart and soul and love, love um, each brother as, as if he was your own self. You know? And we're not catching hell and going through all this and teaching and edifying and debating and, you know, prophesying, you know, with each other just for, a, you know, a hangout, man. The truth ain't a hangout. GMS ain't a hangout because the truth ain't a hangout. You know what I'm saying? But we have to remember that we go through this walk in, you know, in certain situations, you know, within this truth, so we can have someone um, to um, go to. Okay, the scripture says, um, uh, how can you say that you love the Heavenly Father, which you don't see, and you, you, you hate your brother, you don't go to your brother that you do see? And that's something we got to start doing more, man. You know, and that goes for myself first and foremost. I'm speaking to myself because you know it's something on my spirit. I was meditating on, but these are things that are written in the scriptures. You know, so this is just like a reminder slash exhortation to let us continue to go to the brotherhood and you know remember that we are in this thing together. Cause if you look at what's going on with you know in the world, people are shooting each other, killing each other. Um you know, vocab Malone and G-Man and, you know, they're trying to come against the truth, the doctrine, and they, you know, trying to find loopholes and asking all these questions for whatever reasons. Hey, man, hey, 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 how was I said it best when he prophesied, 
that the love of many shall wax cold. Right? But what did he tell us? What did he tell his disciples? Yahweh Shah told his disciples that the world shall know um, me, you know, so as I know the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, by the love that we show for, you know, to each other. And that starts with talking to each other, being around, and being brothers, man. And just being, you know, being mindful and thoughtful of each other. Because there's certain things that we're going to go through in this walk. There's going to be times when we are by ourselves. You know? There's going to be times when we're going to be alone. And there, it, there, is a, a, there is an element to being, a good element to being alone. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, like that's how you get your priorities together. But it's also beneficial to be around the brothers. You know? Especially men that that you grow, we grew up with each other, and it's true for the most part. You know, for brothers that's been around maybe um, eight, nine, ten plus years. You know, maybe, hey, you know, even been around three or four years. We grow up in a faith with each other. We're like spiritual childhood friends. Yeah, we fuss, we fight, we cuss, we argue, but we love each other, we teach, we fight, you know, we go against these Edomites and these false philosophies and these devils. You know, and you know, I mean, it's us against the world, and we have to be like that. We gotta have each other's back, man. You know, we gotta be like the Avengers. You know, no matter what differences we have, we gotta be like the Avengers. We gotta come together, uh, you know, as one. And you know, what is uh one faith, one power, okay, one doctrine. That's what we have to. You know, that's our our thing, you know, and we have faith in that, but we got to love the brotherhood, we got to be, we got to uh, make sure that we are uh, approaching, approaching this truth, it's not just a hangout or just something to do, or it's just a movement, this is the kingdom of heaven, the men you want to own the spiritual battlefield with, Every week doing videos and you talking to in the videos and you at camp. That's the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh wish I said the kingdom of heaven. He said, don't look low there or low there. Or don't look for it from the outside. He said the kingdom of heaven is within you. The kingdom is about the kings. Yeah, the women and the riches and the slaves and yeah, that's gonna come. That's the benefits of the kingdom. But what is the kingdom? The knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashmiah was Shah, our Father, His Son, our Lord and Savior, but also us. You know, us brothers coming together. When you go on the Psalms of the 50th chapter, he says, He he curses out Esau, and then he says, I will set them in order uh before thine eyes. What's being set in order before the eyes of Esau right now? The kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of Israel. The disciples asked the Lord. They said, would thou now restore unto us the kingdom of Israel in the earth? You know? Restoring the who? The Israelites giving us the kingdom. Okay? This is why we go through order and rank and deal with situation and deal with things and we fellowship it's because the kingdom of heaven is being formed. The same things and the same brothers and men and people that you are with today, and we're part of the elect, we're going to always and forever be with each other, man. We're going to always and forever be um, um, amongst each other. And the Lord's going to put the law, statutes, and commandments, the, you know, the new covenant, Hebrews 8, in our hearts, man, in our minds and our spirits to really fully uh, embrace and portray that. The scripture says, this is your knowledge and wisdom in the sight of the nations in the book of Deuteronomy. That's what we have to portray now. We fall away with the curses, all right? But what did the Lord say? The Lord said, once the blessings and the curses uh, um, take place in Israel, he's going to put them on our enemies. So what are we going to have after that point? We're going to have nothing but the blessings, man. You know, all right, nothing but the blessings. But we have to display that now. We got to come around. We got to be amongst men. We got to get these talents, trade talents, and we got to continue to move forward 
because the time is coming when we will not be able to. All right. And take it from me personally, uh, 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 you know, just personal testimony. I've been out there alone teaching. You really yearn for the brotherhood. You don't want to be that brother that ain't got brothers in the camp to call upon. You know, things happen in the spirit, good or bad. You know? Um, so you want to make sure that you're partaking in, 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 in the brotherhood as, as you can to the best of your ability. Because there's going to be times when you can't. You know? There might be the time when you can't. And these are things that we have to... Hey, hey how was I said he treadeth the wine press alone? There was no man with me. Yeah, I wish I had to go on that cross by himself. He didn't take Peter and John with him on the cross. Hell, he probably decided that Peter was going to deny him. But at the end of the day, Peter, John, and the rest of the apostles back then, and even today, we got to be about the work so we can be one with Yahweh Shai. And that was his prayer. Yahweh Shai's prayer in, in uh, John the 17th chapter was that we will be one as he and the Heavenly Father are one. So let's be one, Akim. Let's be one. Let's get together with brothers. Let's love each other. And let's do what we got to do for your how about you? I was shy, man. Stand, standing up against the evildoers. But that's what they trying to do against us, you know? But guess what? That uh, that um, unstoppable force is getting ready to meet an immovable object, okay? And the Lord's going to you know, put the spirit upon his men, you know, he's going to put the spirit upon his son and going to break that unstoppable force. The Esau ain't unstoppable. He's just moving for now. All right. The Lord's going to make us unstoppable and he's going to make us immovable. You know, that's that stone that destroys the um, the um, ten toes, man. Yahweh Shah's coming back to put everything right. And we're supposed to be joint heirs with him through prophecy. So let us move towards that, you know. You know, like scripture says, let us put on as the elect. You know, we're all brothers, man, in this thing, man. And then, of course, we have the Aquath and the, you know, the other men and, you know, helps and governments and things, you know, children with us, man. You know, bringing in, in the elect of Israel. But I just want to speak on that. Um, you know, all praises going on and goes to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakwadash, the water for watching if you watch. Um, and, um, of course, listening, I hope you was edified. Till the next time I say Shalom.